Don't you roll on. Don't worry, I have a towel underneath the girl. You're not gonna get our bed wet anyways. I'll be able to go on to the next step. Soon. I'd be a pretty good barber. Bun, bun barber? Bun barber. Bun barber. I don't know, what would you call it? Okay, okay. Let me think about it, okay? Let me think about it. No. Is someone finally away? I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to do this. Every day I look at you and I see your face and I, I can't help but think to myself it is only a matter of time before I lose control. And now I have you no Excuse after excuse after excuse. I, I think I've had enough. After almost two years, you haven't gotten a haircut. You haven't gone to the barber once. So, I'm taking it into my own hands. That's the plan. So... I hope you trust me with your hair. I hope so. Cause... Someone's about to get wet. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind getting a little bit wet. After all, it makes hair so much easier to tame when it's nice and wet. I mean, why else do the barbers always make sure that your hair is absolutely soaked? underneath you. You're not gonna get our bed wet at least. See? You're all nice and clean. You're fine. And your hair's feeling just a little bit more wet. <laughs> but I'm not gonna stop until your hair's absolutely drenched. What are you gonna do? Stop me? I'd like to see your joy. <laughs> hmm. How does it feel? I mean, your hair is getting wet. I mean, like, I, I don't, I can't imagine that it would feel like bad or. Or anything like that, but you know, I, I don't, I don't I want to make sure it's not uncomfortable or anything. So, the, you know, how does it feel? Is there do you need do you need like more space or anything? You know, like the whole restraint thing is just you know to make sure that the hair doesn't get on your 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 clothes and stuff. I'm, I'm not actually like the hair 
against your will. But hey, 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 if that's if that's what you want to believe, like I, I can always play that up, you know, just like oh, I'm here in the Buns Barber Shop. You dare think you can leave my restraints? You think the little placeholder I put around your neck? Do you think it's there just to protect you? No, no. It's so that you can stay here forever with me. Like if you prefer that, like we can we can go down that route. You know? Just wanna make sure that you don't I don't know. Get get stuff all over here. So it is it's it's just a there's a little hey if you want a little bit of role play, I got you. <laughs> Oh, do you need any water? I can get you some water. <laughs> I don't mean the one on your ear. I meant just, just, just here. Open them, open up, open up. I'm oh, sorry, that was for me. <laughs> here, okay, this one's for you. See, it's not good. It's just ice water, it's not, it's not like special. But, you know, it's gonna make you nice and happy. <laughs> Pretty good though, right? Oh my god, no, we did not have an indirect kiss. Let me go, baby. <laughs> Why have an indirect kiss when you can just have a direct one? Hmm. Why don't I take your precious little protective barrier? Okay. Oh, there we go. And instead of that, let's wrap the towel around you. Does that sound good? Okay. Let's make sure you're nice and clear. Gotta keep your hair wet though. Ready for the fun part now? Okay. Hmm. I guess I should keep your hair nice and neat first. As you can tell, I am a professional. I have brushes. Oh, wait, that's a paintbrush. Wrong brush. Wrong. I have. I have brushes. See, it's. Yeah, but it's a brush. Look, see, see, I have. A, I have a brush. Here's a little bit nutty. Even though I just put water on it. Are you, are you struggling a bit? No, hopefully that doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's okay. Shh, it's okay. Might just hurt a little bit, that's okay. It'll be all better once it's all entangled. Gotta make sure I get the good, the good brushies. I feel like it's, it's gonna feel like it's right on you. Otherwise it won't work. It's gonna be the one that's right on your face. There. Does it feel nice? You know, honestly. As much as I hated going to the... You know, the barber and stuff like that. Because I always really liked long hair. Now I keep my hair somewhat short. I mean, you can see it. <laughs> but I always really, really liked long hair. So, I never liked going to the barbers, but it was always really calming just having someone like 
combing my hair and just taking care of me, I guess. It felt nice having someone just like run a comb through my hair or, you know, shampooing my hair for me. Sometimes it would even tickle. <laughs> so, as much as I didn't like getting a haircut, I liked the process of getting a haircut. And, you know, I didn't have <laughs> any barbers that I knew or I was friends with or anything like that. So, I can only imagine how it feels getting your hair brushed or, you know, taken care of or cut from someone that you're close with. So, I really do hope that you're enjoying this. And I'll make sure I will do my absolute bestest for you. And it looks like... Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> I say, it looks like we almost got all the knots out of your hair. Even with it being wet, I expected it to be a little easier. But once we get it all down and in your face, I'll be able to go on to the next step. Soon. But did you like going to the barber, too? I mean, you haven't seen to go there, or you haven't seen to have gone there in a while, so... You know, I, I, I would assume maybe it's because, like, the price skyrocketed, or... Maybe, maybe something else happened, but... Uh, I don't know. I think it's important to at least, like, get rid of the dead ends and stuff like that. And especially get the knots out of your hair. I can't even imagine how much hair I've already just collected in this comb. It's a nice comb though, very comfy. <laughs> okay, I think I've just about gotten it all done. Just about. Don't worry, there'll be more combing throughout. But I gotta make sure that your hair is perfect before I start. Perfect. Okay, let's move it around. Make sure if, if I run my hand through it, that there's no resistance. Yep, it looks all nice and smooth. Well, it feels all nice and smooth. Okay. Now, let me grab my tool. I hope you like scissors. Now, these aren't exactly the barber scissors, but they're still sharp enough. I'd say they're probably sharper than a barber scissors, so just comb and I think I'll start using my hand instead of the comb at this point. <sighs> okay, I hope you're ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna take out all of your hair, obviously. I just gotta make sure to get out the loose ends. Oh, not the loose ends, the dead ends. Are you on my barber talk? Hey, come on. Okay. I honestly don't think I'm too bad at this, you know? I think. I think I'd be a pretty good bunrista. Or, wait, hold on. Bunarbor. Bunarbor. Bunarbor? Barber. I'd be a pretty good barber. Bun. Bun barber. Bun barber. Bunarbor. I don't know. What would you call it? Um. Am I supposed to switch hands? Am I supposed to turn into left hand scissor person? Well, we'll find out if it. Mm, I don't like how that feels actually. It's kind of hard to cut your hand or cut your hair with the left hand. There you go. Much better. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to cut too much. You don't have to worry about a thing. Okay. I'm only cutting what's necessary. Trust me, I understand the feeling of enjoying long hair. 
Hey, but if you want me to cut more of your hair off, all you gotta do is say it. Cause like, if you want to go for a short hair look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. You know? I just want you to be happy. I think that's the most important part of a haircut. Sure, it feels good when you're getting a haircut, but one of the worst feelings ever is after a haircut, you look in the mirror, and this is especially, especially for me, because like, I, I am, I am very, very not good at eyesight, uh, as you can see by the unusual pupils. Did you know the reason why people struggle to see is because their pupils aren't a perfect circle? Does that look like my pupils are a perfect circle? No. It's very hard to see. So, you know, if I have no way of, like, seeing very well, and so I have to, like, you know, I, I can't just, like, look at them while they're doing it, because I can't see very well. I have to, like, prepare my eyesight. And so once I actually focus after they're already done with the hair, one of the worst feelings is being unable to say, no. Nah, I don't really like it because like that would just make them feel bad and what's the point of doing this it's not like they can like tape back on your hair like if they've cut too much off and you don't like it like which what's the point of saying oh no i don't really like it what are they gonna do about it they're not gonna be able to do anything so it's like it's a bad feeling then then you have to lie to them and be like oh it looks great oh thanks thanks it looks amazing but like w there's no point in in being like oh yeah uh i hate it because then they're just gonna feel bad and it's not like you can get your hair back because you know they already cut it off so i don't know it's just i i had that i had that feeling a lot so like i think the one of the most important parts of a haircut is actually enjoying how the end product looks so make sure to tell me if you want your hair longer shorter not that much um but if you don't speak at all i'm just gonna make you bald which i think would be an amazing look for you so i hope you speak up from that and why don't we try getting some other things I've been really wanting to use this so um don't panic don't panic you see it's not it's not gonna hurt Let's just say I'm gonna get rid of your sideburns, okay? I've just always wanted to use one of these things. So, uh, close your eyes and don't look, okay? No, you didn't hear that. <laughs> no pussy. Okay. Huh. How do I use this thing? Hmm. The vibration isn't too loud, right? It's not. It's not too loud. It's not too bad. Hopefully it's not. That that'd be really bad. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of it. I don't really need to use this for myself, but I bought one and I was never able to use it, so I really just I wanted to I used it at least once, you know. I'm pretty sure these things are called sideburns. People people like to get them. So you, you probably don't have them. Hmm. 
will be fine. We'll be fine. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. You're okay. You're okay. Don't even think about it, okay? Don't even think about it. Just close your eyes, count to ten, and everything is gonna be okay. You'll have your hair. Probably. You'll probably have your hair. So, like, think about the bright side. Think about the bright side. At least, you can still hear me. I haven't accidentally cut off your ears. That's the bright side. That's positive. I'll have you know, some people aren't that lucky to be able to have their ears red. Like, if I'm known for taking hearts, why do you think I would just stop at hearts? Ears are very useful. Do you know how many people would pay for an ear? Some people would. The people that don't have them, I think. I don't know. Or just weird people who like ears. I don't really ask questions when they buy my stuff. But, um, you may or may not have eyebrows now, but you don't need them to see. Unlike your eyeballs. You have those. So far. So far you have those. Um, here, let me just... Now, now that might have been a more stressful experience. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna calm down a little bit, okay? We're gonna calm down. I'm I'm gonna take my brush. We're just gonna you know we're just gonna pat away. We're just all the all the hair that is left to you in your being. We're just gonna we're just gonna wipe it away, okay? You don't, you don't need it covering you. you that's just gonna make you empty. You don't want to be empty. Empty bad. So we're just. Um, just gonna wipe it away. Make sure that you're not itchy at all. Just, you know, come on, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. It's fine. See, see, everything's okay. You're looking. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you a mirror, but you're looking great. You're, you're looking so good. That mirror would shatter in 10,000 pieces because of how embarrassed it would be to just be in your presence because of how beautiful you are right now. Amazing, spectacular, breathtaking. I've never seen something with less or more, they're as good as hair as you have right now. You possibly have so much, so much of it that's on the floor right now, but we don't need that hair. That hair's not important because it's not a part of you anymore, and you're important. But the hair that you're missing. So just deep breaths, okay? And remember that for when you see the mirror, okay? You look amazing. You look great. Baby, baby, baby. You mean everything to me. <laughs> see, that's a meme. It looks good. But you, it's fine. You're gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Listen. It's nice here. You're looking nice and snazzy right now. It's a new look. It's a new look. It looks great on you. You look. You can see, you look. It's a fact, I was stating a fact. And I'm, it's, it's true. You look, you do. Sometimes you even look around. Sometimes you look both ways. Like, are you, are you trying to tell me that you don't? You don't look? Exactly. So if you look, then why wouldn't you look great? Right? I feel like, We got the brushing. I brushed. You got. You got a lot of hair. You get. It's it, off of off of you now. You have a lot of hair off of you now. And now it's not going to make you empty because you don't want to be empty. Now, I know we were focusing on the hair, but I should clean your hair a little bit while we're at it. Think of it as like you know how like when you go to the barber, sometimes they like wash your hair and stuff like that. Um, you know what? Maybe we can we can do that after too. I'll wash your hair. We'll we'll do that a little bit after. But I want to clean your ears first. That way, you can hear how good you look. You'll be able to. You don't. You won't even have to look in a mirror. You can just listen to the beauty waves, the frequency of your face, and and your your eyes, and what was once your eyebrows. 
you can just listen to the frequencies and understand how wonderful you look without actually looking in a mirror. I would strongly suggest against looking in mirrors because sometimes they don't work. Sometimes they're they're just malfunctioning and you, you're not seeing what like people see. You know, like sometimes what you see in a mirror is not what other people see when they look at you. Because like you may see someone without eyebrows, and I would see someone that looks absolutely amazing, like breathtaking, astonishing, just one of one of the best friends someone could ask for. Um, but you may see someone without eyebrows, and you know sometimes the mirror is just don't work the way that they should work. You end up judging yourself way too hard or seeing things that you don't want to see when you could just not look into a mirror and then not have those feelings of regret or remorse or wishing that you woke up earlier so you weren't restrained. Um, but you know, it's okay because we just need to make sure that you have amazingly clean ears. That way you don't have to look in a mirror. You can just hear how good you but you look amazing, by the way. You look really nice. Like, you, you look spectacular. I promise. And I wouldn't lie. It's a, it's a Benoit guarantee. You look great. You do. Like, amazing. Okay. So, you know, let me get to your other ear. We don't want you to just half see, half hear how you look. So you have to make sure both of your ears are nice and clean. See, isn't that good? Isn't that good? Isn't this what you want? Look at that. Look at that. And don't worry, I already, I already called in. You don't, you don't have to go to work or school or anything like that. You're fine. You can take the day off. You have to get adjusted to your new look. You have to learn to live with the overconfidence that you will have now after seeing how amazing and hearing how amazing you look. It's, it's going to be like a whole different person, uh, even though I didn't really cut much off, aside from your eyebrows. Your, uh, I, the, not, not your eyebrows, your, um, your sideburns, sideburns, sorry, I get them mixed up sometimes. Um, you didn't want sideburns anyway, it's fine. You know, they always ask you, do you want to keep your sideburns? And who actually says yes? Elvis Presley? They're not around anymore, so uh, I don't think anyone says yes. So, I don't know. It's just, it's gonna be okay, all right? You're looking snazzy, you're looking frizzed up. That's that's a word that I learned recently. A lot of the people in the, uh, the flower shop started recently just saying uh, riz. I, at first, that's, I, I, I thought it meant something completely different. Um, just like the, the oh, that, that one, uh, I have I have some stories to tell you. Didn't you, you know those, those barbershop people that like, always had stories to tell, like the gossipers, I never knew any of them, but oh, I got, I got something to tell you, so there's a story, so, so, like, way back when, in the flower shop, when I was, you know, giving the demonstrations and such, you know, there was this, once upon a time, that what was really popular with the kids was saying the word morb, god, I hated that, it was the worst, but because of the people who said it, I thought morb meant something completely different than what it meant. Because when whenever someone said morb, it was always, I'm gonna morb, or I'm morbing all over the place. So, of course, the conclusion that I would come to was morb is something that is say so -int, or, uh, in other words, not say so. <clears throat> um, so when my completely say so friends were saying it, I, I was like, G gasping, just like, what, what, what has, how, what has happened to my, my lovely wholesome beings? What is, what has corrupted you so? Damn you, Morbius, Morbius the film. You morbed all over them, and and look at them now, they're just a shell of their former selves. And I don't know, it just, it didn't come to me. It didn't, it didn't. I was so confused as to why, the the wholesome beings who have never done anything say so in their lives like the the closest they've done to say so it was hold a hand and blush hard from it like th that was that was the extent of their say so and 
they were saying like I'm gonna morb all over the place and I'm like what what happened um, and it turns out morb didn't mean what I thought it meant um, it was just a stupid meme and the same thing happened with Riz <laughs> in my defense Riz sounds a lot more <laughs> like something else <laughs> so I it's just <sighs> I don't know, you, you, you kids nowadays and your, your silly memes, sometimes this, this bunny, this bunny doesn't understand your memes and your meme culture. <sighs> nowadays, it's all about Walter, Walter, get your 3DS out of here, Walter, and just stuff like that. And I died, I just, I just don't know anymore. Back in my day, when, when, when our memes were, was like, potions that are please, I'm going into battle, and I need only your strongest potions. You're too weak for me to have a <laughs> There's stuff like, like, there's that, then there is like, like, an avocado. Thanks. Like, those are, those are the, the bun memes for back in the bun days. And now we, we have stuff like Morb and Riz and, and Walter and just, I don't know what the world's come to. I just want to sell my flowers and enjoy my time with you. But instead, there's, there's sus and among us and venting and just such dangerous things in the world. I don't always understand them. I don't always understand them. I wish I did. I wish I understood sus is among us, but... Maybe I'm not hip with the kids anymore. <sighs> Either way. Thank you for putting up with me. And I don't know if you're going to stay for the shampoo or if you're going to escape my grasp. But if you stay, I promise I'll morb all over you. Okay, or I'll, I'll, I'll appreciate you, okay? <laughs> You should be all good to go. You'll be all rizzed up, as they say. So, yeah, okay. Um, so it'll take, so yeah.